we've seen a lot of negative backlash that's been targeting individuals uh, in the Muslim community as well as Muslim Islamic centers and mosques in Fresno. We know that as we're working towards a more peaceful city and as we work towards a more peaceful country, we will not stand idly by in the face of increased bigotry and hatred of hatred and any form of prejudice and racism against any of our community members. We want to make it clear, as you'll hear from many people today, that this act of violence is not connected to Islam or the Muslim community in Fresno in any way at all. And today you'll be hearing from local imams, from Muslim leaders, and from interfaith clergy members who are concerned about the events today, and they're going to make it clear how we're standing together as a community and we won't let this divide us. I'd like to start by inviting Imam Ali Shabazz from Masjid al-Aqaba to share a few words. Indeed, all the praise and thanks are due to Allah. We praise Him. We seek His help and we seek His forgiveness. I bear witness that there is no God except for Allah and that Muhammad is the slave of His message. My name is Ali Shabazz and I am the leader of the Imam of Masjid al-Aqaba here in downtown Fresno. I've lived here for 43 years all of my life. I'd like to take this opportunity to give my deepest condolences to the victims of the families. And I would like to say, we ask the law that he first and foremost that he ease your heart and that he rewards you for your patience. We'd like to remind you that to Allah belongs what he gave and to Allah belongs what he took. And that everything with him has an appointed term. So be patient. May Allah reward you for your patience. I can also take this opportunity to condemn this horrific act of violence that took place in our city and to let this be an opportunity for us to stand with the victims and to stand together as a, as a people in Fresno as one and to not let this be something that divides us, to let this be something that first and foremost brings us together and educate us. And so once again, I just want to give my deepest condolences and ask that everyone please uh, pay for this Good afternoon, everyone, and Islam alaikum, peace be with you. I am Sayyid Ali Ghazi, the Imam of the Islamic Cultural Center here in the prison. On behalf of the Muslim community, I would like to extend our condolences to the victims, to the families of victims of today's uh, act of violence. And on behalf of Muslims, we would like to say that our prayers go to the families and the victims. As you heard, the uh, uh, criminal today, when he uh, uh, got arrested or maybe uh, shot people, he shouted, Allahu Akbar. We are not sure what it, uh, exactly he said. It seems that he said, Allahu Akbar. We would like to say this is another crime that he used a peaceful word of prayers that uh, 1.7 million Muslims say it every day during their prayers and the call for the prayers. He used it uh, while uh, committing his act of uh, violence. And we would like to say that this individual does not represent our faith or our community. This individual does not represent your neighbor, your Muslim neighbor, your uh, Muslim classmate or your co-worker. Uh, the Muslim community in the valley are working hard for the well-being of uh, the society and the country. Uh, many physicians, nurses are working hard to serve, save lives every single day. And this individual does not represent us. We ask on, uh, we call on the law enforcement agencies to investigate the motivations of this individual and make it clear that it has nothing to do with our community. Again, we pray for uh, the healing of uh, those who are, who are injured and for the healing of our community and for violence to stop in our uh, community. Thank you very much.
Good afternoon. I'm Rabbi Laura Novak Weiner, and I'm here representing the Jewish community and the leadership of Temple Beth Israel and the Jewish community of Fresno. Uh, I stand here uh, with all of you today and with my Muslim brothers and sisters and my Christian brothers and sisters and my two brothers and sisters, everybody in this in our Fresno community on this day. and I condemn this violence and I want it to stop. I pray for us to have calm and to have reasonable minds as we uh, empower our um, police to investigate the situation as, as um, Imam said, to find the real causes behind um, this tragedy. I also want to call on the people of Fresno to educate themselves about Islam. That there's a lot of assumptions made about what Islam is about and what it means to be a Muslim. And uh, those assumptions very often are not true. And uh, we who live in Fresno in this very diverse and colorful city have an obligation to understand who each other is and what each other stands for. And ultimately we all stand for peace and for justice in this world. So I'd like to call on the people of Fresno to educate themselves about this, what Islam really means and to know that it is a religion of peace and justice and wholeness. So um, I, uh, again, I hope that we have peace and calm and a pray for, um, for the families who are in peace today. My name is Mohammed Mabrouk. Uh, I'm representing my team, which is in a, a, a Muslim uh, organization dedicated to establishing Muslim characters. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon all of you. My name is Mohammed Mabrouk. I'm representing an organization known as My Deen, which is a Muslim organization dedicated to pushing good character on people and helping the surrounding communities and so on and so forth. I'd like to start off by saying our prayers goes out to all the families that have been affected by this uh, tragic incident. Uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them with patience. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this a means of elevating their status. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease their affairs in this time of hardship. And I'd also like to take this moment to say that Islam does not allow such acts. And I don't say this because I'm standing here before you. And I don't say this just because the mic, the, the cameras are on me, but I say this because of what Allah teaches us in the Quran. He says, وَمَنْ قَتَلَ نَفْسًا بِغَيْرِ نَفْسٍ أَوْ فَسَادٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَكَأَنَّمَا قَتَلَ النَّاسَ جَمِيعًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that whoever, whoever takes an innocent life for no reason, for no reason, which is what happened today, it's as if he's taken the life of all of mankind. It's as if he's killed everybody. And so we are taught that through the Quran and through the, the, the teachings of the Prophet peace be upon him, that this is not allowed in Islam and we condone such acts. So thank you for your time. Thank you. Peace be upon all of you. My name is Reza. I'm the director of the Islamic Cultural Center of Fresno. And in terrible times of pain and tragedy, you see beautiful people gather. You see people stand up for each other. You see people who come together and stand to make a statement of justice and to make a statement that we're here for each other and we will continue to be for each other. So in this tragic time, we find one little beauty. I will read to you a statement on behalf of the Islamic Cultural Center of Fresno, our board, our staff, and our congregation. Today, violence hits close to home. A man who claimed to follow the faith of peace and compassion committed terrible acts of violence in downtown Fresno. We pray for the victims and their families and friends and the organizations that were targeted. The phrase, Allahu Akbar, or God is great, is a prayer of peace for more than 1.8 billion Muslims around the world. It is a recognition that our role as a part of this creation of the most merciful God and our duty to see ourselves humbly in relation to God as part, as just one part of the entire creation. When someone utters these beautiful words, 
and then commits violent acts, it brings pain to our community and truly crushes our hearts and souls. We condemn the acts of the criminal in the strongest terms and stand with our community and city in support and in brotherhood. Additionally, today's crime represents nothing to do with our faith, our community, our center, or our people, and we call upon our law enforcement agencies and our officials to properly investigate the motives of this man and hold him accountable accordingly. Again, we lift in our prayers the victims and their families, and we pray that our community rises above correlating these acts with our faith. Thank you. And we plead with the people of Fresno to, as Rabbi Laura said, educate themselves and not take this out as any kind of retribution against the Muslim people who are peace-loving people. The Episcopal Church stands for love and believes that God is love and that love prevails and love wins. These are the words of our bishop just a few days ago. We ask that the people of Fresno remember this as well for all of us love wins. Let's, let's not let this be an opportunity that passes for us. Thank you. Good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, My name is Andy Levine, uh, representing Faith in Fresno and Faith in the Valley. Um, I'm here today to join everyone else in, in praying and mourning the victims, the, the families, and the communities that, um, that were hit by today's tragedy. Um, but I'm also here um, because I will absolutely refuse to stand by and allow my Muslim brothers and sisters, African American brothers and sisters, and anyone else who may and in fact are already facing backlash from today's tragedy um, through hate and bigotry and othering. Sadly, there are individuals and forces out there that will and already are using this to divide us and trick us into believing that we are different from one another and that we should be mistrustful of one another and stay separated from one another. For the last couple of months, we've been developing an accompaniment infrastructure to protect and walk alongside all those who are in harm's way, whether they be through ICE raids, hate crimes, or otherwise. And I want you to know, those behind me in the community, my Muslim brothers and sisters, and all those who are going to be feeling backlash from today, that we will do everything in our power to walk alongside you and to accompany, accompany you in this moment of need and crisis. Um, I have the great honor of being able to march every single day with many of those that are, that are behind me and the communities they represent in, in fighting for a more peaceful, just, and humane city in Central Valley. I know they are peace-loving and justice-loving people. And my message today is that this morning's tragedy will only make us more resolved to keep striving for a more just, humane, and peaceful than ever before. I'd like to quote, close with one of my favorite Martin Luther King quotes, which is, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Thank you. <laughs> 